What up, everyone? This is Headphone Nero streaming for you guys. It's weird to stream with headphones. I haven't done that in a long time. <laughs> We're just reviewing the Big 44 FT. I'll be live on stream, by the way. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, so, so. Uh, uh, be aware. <laughs> <laughs> you are on screen number four, I guess. Yeah. There he is. Drinking some water. Looking weird. <laughs> Mama. This is high high level production here first hand guys. Man, it's so nice to stream without a delay. Mm. Alright, there we go. Just don't move too much. Okay. Large AFB, what up? What up, chat poker? Boss content. Yeah. I even changed the settings so your audio will be saved on the file. That's wow. how prepared I am. I was cooking burgers and while setting up the stream. I mean, this is like path style, always eating burgers. Dude, burgers are fucked. I'm so done with them. Really? Oh shit. They don't. They don't do anything for me anymore. They just make me feel like <laughs> shit. Lol. But like even a good burger, where you like, you know, with some salad and stuff. I mean, I've Uber Eats burgers too many times this month. Yeah. Really, but, but like when dude, you. Dude, I don't. I don't make burgers anymore. Oh man, you should go back to it because the issue is. One second. Uh... If, when you eat burgers and you order them in, they're always like way too heavy, trashy. <laughs> yeah, because like, they make them huge. They make you just feel out of, feel, uh, out of line, you know? Just, yeah, they market burgers weird, man. They market like it's just stacked. It's ridiculous. Funny thing about that tournament is I was talking about how good value that is. And <laughs> that I can't play it given the schedule, but it's going to be amazing for PATH. And then you just fucking like... Dude, finish I've, third or something. <laughs> I fired five bullets in that thing for thirteen big blinds as my last bullet. Dude, you finally listened to me, man. Yeah, you dude, were never that's big... actually so funny as well because I was telling that people kept asking me like, "What's the one thing you take away from the stream house?" And I was like, "Well, you you learn a lot of small things, but probably the thing that stands out the most is like just firing a lot more bullets because it just makes sense." Yeah. Nice. It never works out for me, to be honest, but it's, it's nice that it worked out for you. <laughs> it's so fucking amazing. <laughs> Somebody Dude, asked you know, me like, that. on Sundays, you don't even, like, look at the vines. You just keep, you don't give a fuck what the number is. You just want to win big. That was my mindset going into it. Yeah. I mean, accurate. All right, I think it's fucked again. Like, the first hand is correct, but then the, <laughs> the next hand is the final hand. So we just you can start just down skip here. it. Uh, whatever. All right. I punted so this is the final table. Oh, yeah. I punted the first hand, and... I'm I'm punting twice on this final table, I think. Potentially twice, okay? And uh, this is the first punt. I defend queen eight here. I think this is already a fold for 33. No, uh, I would defend it. I think I like it. But it's like close, you know, 12 bigs, 10 It's bigs, definitely so close, yeah. I mean, I would fold queen seven, so it's not terrible to fold this. Yeah. And then we get this flop. He C bets for like 80%, and I floated, yeah. and I think we should just fold here. Yeah. Just because like 31,000 is worth a lot, and the issue is that... Um, like, obviously, in theory, we should call here, but it's just that the chips just hurt too much, and often people have a bit of a, obviously, more polarized range, so either strong or bluffs, and they keep on barreling. We can only really continue on 10. Even the queen is not amazing, so I think I should have just folded here. Yeah. Did you check raise or something, or just see flat, did you? I, I called, but, uh, mm. yeah. And then I just gave up, and he better prevent should, should we lead on that turn up? I, I have shit No, leading. not top here. You have to realize he bets 80% on the flop, right? So he's going to have a pretty strong range already. So it's not that sure. we get a lot of folds. Like, we can need a 9 because with the big flop yeah, sizing, sure. he's less 9x. But, um, yeah. All right. Let's just go. Yeah, I raised folded here. I mean, that's pretty standard. There's an 11 big bet yeah. regem, I would say, right? Yeah. I think um, we even put, like, ace 9 offset there. Like, you can even run that, can't you? Yeah, like I mean, that'd be cool to see. That's like ace nine suited, probably ace eight suited. Dude, the small plan can jam ninety five percent versus my open Lamau. So fucking dumb though. <laughs> make makes sense though. Like I was thinking about this, but the guy was really passive, so it was fine. But I was like, this is so fucked up. Um, so it gives big blind a jamming range of thirty eight percent. What the fuck? Yeah, well, you can like take out two thirds of those hands. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what 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 in the world? Um, it's ridiculous, actually. 
I mean, yeah. I mean, we just don't see these regems too often. Uh, yeah, I would just, I would honestly have them defending like every sort of Broadway and jamming King Queen sort of plus, I guess. Yeah, I think they're a bit wider than that though. I don't know. I, I really think that's just your mindset. I think a lot of people are a lot tighter there and just defend those sort of Broadways. I feel like, but of eleven blinds, really, like when you still fold equity. Let me quickly. Dude, what is your like what is your opening range like? How the hell are they jamming ninety five percent? Oh like yeah, small opening. blind jamming ninety five percent. Yeah. Okay, I thought I thought it was big blind jamming. I was so confused. It gives me like a thirty five percent opening range or so. Hey, look at that! So against that range, but look how marginal that shit is. Oh wait, let me. Um. Yeah, turn FGS off or just. I mean, I I don't think it really accounts for much like. Calculating FGS eight here, because like, how the hell would you calculate the future EV in like with this many players left? It's like it would take forever, I think. Yeah, not really true. do much. But like, I mean, against this jamming range, we have to fold a six already, and I think we can give some people a, a tighter much range. Much tighter. Yeah. But yeah, it's gonna be close. But I mean, never gonna be really good. Never gonna be a bad fold. So. I, like when spots are close, I don't even think it's worth too much, uh, like, um, you know, checking it out because what can we really take away from it? It's fucking close, okay. <laughs> um, people busting. He had just limped, stabbed, gave up. Um, oh, dude, this spot was fucking sick. This spot was sick. So mm. I open nines, we get. Four call, uh, three calls. <laughs> this is the flop. I opened up 20 bigs, right? Um, I thought about just jamming flop. I thought about check jamming flop. I thought about a lot of things. Um, I don't know what's best here, honestly. It's kind of weird. Like, uh, I, I honestly first. like, oh yeah, I like all three, all those options for a slot, but I would just shove a pre, I think. For 20? Yeah, like I we don't, like that's the whole point of ISM. We don't want to have to like let a shack get it through versus their pre-flop, you know? But the thing is, it's just such a fucked up spot. I mean, 24 blinds, 23, 19, 23. I don't think we want to be jamming nines. I mean, we, I mean we can, let's quickly run it, but uh, it's definitely I, I read I open it. Look at that. Like, super more fucking marginal. marginal. Okay. It's, it's a lot more marginal than I thought. Yeah, like, I, I wouldn't jam there. I mean, everything is fucking marginal here, to be fair, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, turn FGS off. Like, just keep it off. I think we'll turn it on for like final four or five. Okay. But what the fuck? How's how is everything that marginal? Well they become they become break even now, it's funny. It's sick how like why is aces so low as well? Did they fuck up the payouts or something? No, no, there's a reason for this. I'm just really bad at putting it into words. Um I noticed this as well. Ah, I guess because calling ranges are tight, so we don't really make a lot of money by jamming aces because most of the time we're just picking up blinds. I think that's a pretty good stance. Yeah, no. I think that's the reason. Sure. So yeah, I don't like open jamming, but... um, Like, the thing on this flop is just that I don't really think... Like, he can have eights and sevens. He has them. I don't think he has them because he probably squeezes eights at least or has sevens. So they, they just... The issue is just they have a lot of, like, queen check... Queen 10, check 10, ace check, ace queen, you know. So that's the reason I decided. I bet half pot on the flop. Just to I get like folds it. from these overcards. Do you have any bluffs here that aren't flush draws or no? I don't think we should be betting very much here, to be honest. Yeah, that's the thing, right? But the thing is, I don't really want to check here and. Well, what shit like... about checking is like people just under bluff with ICM situations like this, right? No one like bluffs enough multi way, four way to the flop. So yeah, I like but... about. Yeah, and then like we just get fucked if they have checked head, they have so much equity here. If I bet here, he just folds it with two guys behind, right? But then he flats and he jams and I hero folded. That's fucked. That's like, yeah. a, I think that's a terrible fold, <laughs> but Dude, wow. It was like, I was like zone to zone and like he tanked forever and then flatted. And then this guy went for this, he went for this special tank where I have like, I have a timing tell that I go for when people don't really tank that much here with a flush draw or something. It was just like, yeah, yeah. he tanked for like 70% of his time bank. So he made it look like he was <laughs> thinking, but he, you knew he wasn't actively thinking. So it just, I, I, I was just like, I'm not going to call you. I'm going to go for the, 
the, the hero fold and um, yeah, worked out. That's crazy. Nah, I th I'm pretty sure I put uh, nine places pays paid, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. I kind of like that hand. I think the flop bet is fine as well. Mostly about ICM. Um, here I champ, for example, because it, this is the guy chip leader with 120 big blinds, so he's also he was also really aggressive, so yeah. I think it's better to rip than flatting. Um, limp pot here. Dude, this was so annoying. I just came along. I mean, of 16 seems fine. Decided to check back yeah. the flop because I didn't really want to get check raised here, run to a better flush, or take the yeah, flip like against King X. We get this turn, he bets, and he jams. <laughs> it's so tilting. Wow, dude. No, I thought it was on a flop, yeah, nice. Yeah, also, I like the limp pre as well because it doesn't affect your ISM situation. You're still the short stack. There's no other even stacks with you. Like, there's yeah, still no. a pretty big gap. It's nice. Yeah, and we only have, have to invest one big blind, so... Sure. Um... Oh, this was also such a fucked up spot. He opens two and a half x of twenty two bigs on the gun. He flats the button of eighteen. And I'm there with sevens. Okay, that's such like, a stupid spot. Uh, I I just called and then I was like, let's get it in on low uh -huh. boards. The thing is, I don't really think I fold equity pre flop because if he folds, I think this guy always. I mean, I didn't know he was as wide as queen. Yeah, that's guy, that's you know? very wide. What the hell? But we're also seven handed. and He opens on the gun, so I think. Yeah, but he's flooding off eighteen. Like that's terrible. Yeah, this is obviously terrible. I mean, he was recreational, but like this range is pretty strong, so I don't think we want to get it in pre, but I also don't really want to fold. Like, I think we can fold it the hands like Deuce here, maybe. Like, I, I have no idea what we should be defending in this spot. I thought sevens is like fine, and then we get it in if there's like three cards below a nine or below a ten. Mm, I, don't, I don't mind that at all. That's kind of my... I, I, I think it would have to be nine high. Ten high is still pretty dicey. Yeah, but if it's like ten, six, deuce, you know... I think we can okay, go for it, yeah. but uh, I mean we have, yeah, not that much behind. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like just, it. Just I like it a lot. That call. Ty, um, folded here. I think that's pretty standard. Nothing special. Card blind versus blind for seven. I think that's also fine. Uh, here limped. I think. Oh, I folded. Interesting. Um. I think I could have gotten all the way with the 14 big band limpy. Oh yeah, I remember he had 16 bigs, he had 15, so I was like, ah, not about it. But <laughs> um, maybe he can get away with it. This guy has been, like, yeah. look at that, he's gonna limp the force now. Like, this That's is such an unreal great. limp in this situation. Like, he was just way too tight. So I think maybe he can get away with the limp here, but it's gonna be marginal, so. Yeah, I, I have no idea what hands we'd limp on the bottom there, by the way, with two other shorties. I don't either. But I'm just like, <laughs> like that much less limp, you know. That seems wild. Yeah. Um, wow. I think it's fine to open. Like you know, the thing is, what I really like about having a stack like this, you know, opening this of twenty three big blinds is pretty dicey. But opening this of fourteen blinds, like, what are you, what is he going to do with aces offsuit? You know, like, how do you want to abuse me here? It's. I really like when you have these these short stacks because you can open a bit wider again because they cannot punish you that much in these positions. At why? Least. But why aren't you just jamming there? Because it's not amazing. Like let's it's just open up fourteen blinds. There's like what two other shorties? It's like one shorty, two even stacks or something. Yeah, I mean it's just marginal. That's again. doing that's doing pretty well. Like you would generally want to look at an EV range of like five percent of what Aces is making. Yeah. And so that's... like that's pretty decent. That's just I mean, it's like, that. it's slightly, yeah, it's slightly over, but like, if you're not taking those spots, like, I, I mean, know. it's a profitable race, you know, I think the race will be more profitable. Yeah, than I, I'm not sure. I mean, it really depends on the players behind. If you've got that guy being that tight limping force and you've got a recreation of flooding queen 10, then it seems better to min raise, yeah. Uh, but like, uh, they what do they do about it, you know? Like, well, I, I mean, if you they... keep min raising up that stack, they just jam over you more if they recognize it. Yeah, but they don't really, and you... Like, still, if they have H check and jam, good on them. We would have gotten it in anyhow. I just fold, you know? But I don't think people jam ace it off here in a small blind because he's chipped here now with my open. Obviously, if mm -hmm. it happens multiple times, I'm quite aggressive here, but that's not the case. I've been. You, know, you might get ace more. 10 to re jam over you, though, which would suck. Yeah, but it's like one hand, you know? And then, like, a bunch of underpairs. Yeah. 
I think it's fine overall. I don't think it's bad. Yeah, that's for sure. Um, here, Limp Kings resuited. Yeah, this is so funny, man. I, I can't wait to see like Nick Petrangelo talk about like limping with the ACM. Dude, that's uh, fucking confusing. Mm. Just decided to check it down. He min bets river, a pew call. I mean, I think we should just be like abusing the button here if he's in a limp fours. If you saw it at showdown, by the way, which you would have. Yeah, I saw that. But the thing is like, because he is so tight, I don't really want to bluff here because he will connect very well with the sport. No, no, like uh, pre-flop. Like we should raise more if he's looking Oh, you forts. mean, yeah. Yeah, we could do that for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe. Yeah, for sure, actually. Yeah, that's a pretty big score. <laughs> I just went for the limbs. I just well, this limping is crazy. I love it. Dude, this, this table's so me. tight as well. <laughs> Dude, this, this tilted me so much. Because he, like, he snap-checked from the big blind, you know, so... I come Dude, you're like more. leveling yourself so hard here. Nah, like I just min bad knee jams and I just puke folded. Yeah, it's pretty lame that spot. But like who jams here, man? It's just like, come on, I better look how small the pot is, just don't jam you fucker. <laughs> 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 like there's so much bullshit there, like just seven dudes offs you nothing, you know, just fold. <laughs> What's your uh, turn sizing if it calls flop? Is that um, half pot here? No, we can just Depends, wait. So we would have like 55k with like 119 behind. Yeah, like a third again. Third mostly. Cool. The queen check suited got to be more profitable than the king check suited, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we could have just jammed here again. Well, yeah, you got one less play to get through. But like when they are passive, like I don't mind just doing everything post flop, you know? Like they, their jamming range over my limp will be pretty similar to their re jamming range over my jam. And. Therefore, I think um, just limping a lot seems pretty reasonable. Yeah, this is making pretty good money. Might make more money as a jam than the limp, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I would actually prefer to min raise hands like 10 9 suited and like jack 10 off suit and jam these ones because at least those have more equity when cold all in. And if they're like being that tight, then we can probably get the bottom of our range through with more min raises playing post slope. You know? That's a fair point. Be a bit more polarized with like bottom of our range as a race. Yeah, like I, I, I wouldn't pick like Jackson. I mean, maybe I would, but 10 9 suited seems like a good min raise instead, you know? Yeah. But if you're talking about jamming here with the Queen Jack suited, yeah. I mean, jamming seems. Yeah, it seems fun as well. Very reasonable, yeah. I just I just like limping. <laughs> I mean, this yeah, one is like I, so I nasty. Like, I, I puke but, super hard on, on the floor. But also, like. Have you run the difference between like a thousand player field versus a couple hundred player field in the big 44? Because it would like, I think it would really affect how you play these spots as well. The thing is, I, I try to figure that out and what, what it comes down to with ICM is that um, the pay jumps will obviously change based on the field size, so you cannot compare it. Because suddenly, instead of a 13% first base, or like 17% first base price, it's only a 13% first place price with more runners so yeah the difference in the in the page um, or like a difference in the player numbers will be shown or displayed in the different payout structures not only in like the page jumps being you know like it's always 20 18 18 or whatever but with fewer runners it's going to be 18 16 14 or whatever yeah, I would love to just see what the difference is like right now, six-handed with a thousand player field and like, you know, sort of making three binds for a pay jump, it's like 30. You know, like oh, how yeah. tight it is. That'd be cool to see. I don't think it will change too much compared to the, because it's based on the overall payouts and not the the jump Dude, itself had, compared to the I buy I had the six spot as well, like in the 450. Like you're not going to believe this, right? So if I, I created a sim where it was like big, big stack to my direct left has 85 bigs. I have um, eight big blinds, and the three other shorties all have one and a half big blinds, right? And we're still jamming so much there. Like, it was ridiculous how much we're still jamming. I was like, just so confused. That is confusing. This is like blind best blind, this is. It was, it was crazy, because I made a really bad fold in the final the final five. I folded ace eight suited, and I had eight big blinds. It was like and three and a half. Blind? It was so fucking bad, dude. Holy shit! It was like, yeah, it was terrible. <laughs> like, I, I was in, I was in a state, like, cause I'm, look, I'm looking at the pay jumps and I'm like, all right, there's a 10k pay jump, 20k pay jump, 
And I'm like, all right, I've got three and a half, uh, 12 and nine. I was like, shouldn't I just be folding it? Like, it was just so fucking terrible. And then like, yeah. I ran out of the break and I was like, Jesus, that was like the only bad fold I made though. Everything else was like almost spot on. I was very happy with it. Nice. Yeah. I mean, you can get into these scenarios when I know, I feel like sometimes you have this idea and then you have like, you're so focused on ICM and then you always take it a step further from hand to hand and suddenly you just fold everything and stuff. But then well, yeah. like, it's always nice to just fold everything and get ladders as well. Like, yeah, I mean, that's the thing, that. right? What, what I failed to realize is although I'm making like 25 buy-ins with one single pay jump, um, and that's nice and all, the overall picture of the future EV and actually finishing first and making an additional 200 buy-ins is just worth more. That's why mm -hmm. it makes sense to jam those spots. I'm just thinking about the dollar value and not about the actual EV value. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. I, th I think the fold versus jam is pretty... Uh fine, we don't really want to take a shit spot like that. But yeah, that's fine. I mean, yeah, fuck that guy for jamming. And this seems like a good fold as well, Clinton. I like it. Well, what's our worst pair here? This would be cool to run. Uh, I thought sixes was the worst pair. I folded five. So. Oh, yeah. I would say that as well. Like, you should quickly run it just carefully and then move on. Somebody in chat called me a knit player after that fold. <laughs> Fucking chat, dude. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I mean, super marginal. Fuck this, man. Everything is just fucking marginal. It was so, funny. I was watching um, Spraggy once, and then someone called him a net, and he was like, it's funny when people use the word net. It's like, the fault either good or it's bad. And I'm like, I agree, man. I fucking hate that word so much. Yeah, I agree. I hate, I, I just, I mean, the, the calling range is a bit tight here, I feel. I mean, I don't think the big band is going to fold these hands against the jam. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I jab 10. Let's leave it at this. This is still pretty tight. Let's just widen the ranges a little bit. I think ace 10, ace 10 so to get rid of that. I mean, who knows what a plan a big Against a 10 big blind under the gun jam. Yeah, for sure. I, w I would definitely fold ace 10 so to that. I mean, you can even just be the big blind now and put hero all in or put under the gun all in and see how bad ace 10 is. Yeah. Wow. Pretty sick. Um, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, it's getting smashed. Yeah, okay. Sick. I, I mean, yeah, it makes sense. I mean, those are the ranges before I adjusted them. <laughs> 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 Obviously. Uh, brain fart. Um, but yeah, I, I still think people call a little bit wider than that. Like, I, I don't see people with jam, uh, folding pocket eights there. I mean, we can do it nah. like this. Ace check. And then, like... I mean, sick how tight they have to be. Holy shit. Mm. I mean, that's just crazy tight. What in the world? This is quite surprising. But yeah, I think like we're gonna make fives to fold if we actually. Like I think nines and eights are just being called more often here. Put nines in here. Yeah, no, we are there. Dude, what is the number next to the positions on ICM Master? It says like one point two. Is that uh, like? It's bubble What's factor, that? so it's just shows how uh, fucked your stack is with a uh, bubble or with pay jumps or something. That's cool. Oh, so, that's uh, sick. Yeah. It's, it is actually pretty sick. There's spots where it's like super high. Like I forgot exactly how it works again, but um, I feel like, yeah, I don't know. Like I have to read through it again. I forgot. But yeah. So yeah, I like the fold there. Nice. This is the main fold where people lost it. I was like, I think this is a pretty good fold. Um, fucking limping everyone yeah I mean I was the only one that had like a I mean I didn't have a proper strategy obviously but I did it <laughs> as an active decision instead of Uga I limp <laughs> 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 alright what a um Wow, that's a weird spot. I mean, he opens up 16 blinds, he has 14, he has 7.4. Oh, 7. wait, no, yeah. we cover him, I just rip that fuck with all those shorties. Uh, what? Stupid, I think. Really, yeah, you man. think? Wow. Dude, like, why isn't this guy shoving it? You know when he does this, his range is so polarized? Like, he's not min-raising a shack here, he's just ripping it. So his range is way more polarized, I would just ship this. Yeah, that's a good I'd rather point. have, like, 
a suited ace or something, but <laughs> we have like the worst. We have like no blockers, but who cares? He's gonna race fold so much. But like, uh, is it? I mean, that's printing shit. Yeah, but we have to trust this range. I don't think people open mace oh, yeah, there yeah. ever. This is mostly like something like. You know, yeah, this is kind of like aces. this. I think I'm like man. suited aces up to ace 10 suited or ace 9 suited. Yeah. I mean, uh, who knows? Maybe he thought you were really tight because you were like limping a bunch. Maybe he had no idea what was going on. And he was like, oh, I'll just exploitably destroy Bolero. Uh, I, don't th I don't think so. I think something like this could be reasonable. Mm, I like it. As like an indicator. I love ICS. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Dude, burn your computer. That shit's fucked. <laughs> well, I love how it centered around the 10x <laughs> because that's what we gave him the most. <laughs> uh, that's so funny. You look so cute when you laugh. I miss that. Oh, dude. I legit jerked off last night to you laughing about me cycling <laughs> <on> Skype. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was funny, dude. Dude, like the last few days, I've just been like 12 tabling and reading Skype and like not giving a fuck about my life and just enjoying the Skype <laughs> chat. And then like timing it everywhere. It's just so stupid. Oh, uh, dude. I love how tense is a fold. Tense was a fold in that. Okay. Uh, this, uh, this is just too much. This is... <laughs> So we should fold tens, but I'm queen to suit it. Uh, something's I'm, fucked. But something's fucked. I, I mean, maybe it's true. Uh, it makes sense, doesn't it? You did make a pretty weird range there. Yeah. This is the issue with stuff like that. Like, we cannot really run it like that. I think I generally like the idea of deuces, but I don't like it enough because it's just... With him having 14 and 7.4, this is just such an unreal punt. Dude, I would, can you it? take out tens for him as well? Like, I, I think they were just jam tens, honestly. I think people just suck, basically. Like, the big 44, it's like just a fish first. Like, they just suck. They're not going to induce enough. Hmm. No, wait, so no. Next... Nowadays is a pretty bad. This is so fucked up, man. Yeah. I mean, if you think about how much money Aces is making, like, the rest doesn't look that good. Yeah, maybe folding is good. I mean, who knows what his range is like. Maybe he opens every broad way. Maybe <laughs> I opens, just don't like, think so with him being so tight, so. with him being shorter, uh, with him being so short, I mean. Mm. Shouldn't we calculate Nash ways? Nah, because, I mean, he plays different yep. than Nash, right? So we shouldn't do that. We aren't computers, unfortunately. No. I like having emotions. Mm. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. What do you call it? Is it 10 big blind, small blind jam here? I can't. It's 13 and 9 and... What's the high? 13, 16 and here is 9.7. Okay, well, let, let me guess. Um, probably like king 9 suited plus. Wow, you think that tight? I was like king 7 yeah. suited, king 9 plus. Yeah, maybe King Seven suited actually. Yeah, I might want to change it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll switch it with you. King Seven suited. Take yeah, and we can even adjust him. He will limp Kings plus and. Uh, pretty pretty good guess. Yeah, it's nice. We're good. I don't think he will limp anything there. To be honest. Whoa. Okay. Um. <laughs> Omega. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it depends so much on the player again. I feel like we can tighten this a little bit. We can just do it for both. We can shave off like 15% and then keep it for like an aggressive player. I mean, it's just going to be mostly like this. So maybe a little bit more folding here. More the folding thing here. is, like, those, a lot of players, including myself, view those low suited. Actually, no, they should have. That's weird. Like, can you go back to the Nash range? Why are they not jamming the low suited aces and jamming like Jack Frost? So, like, I get the whole blocker value, but don't you want to have live guards? What do you mean? Like, can you just... Is this Nash? Okay, that is, is Nash. It? Okay. Yeah. I'll take it back. I'm an idiot. Don't worry. Yeah, I mean... I mean, this this looks pretty reasonable, to be honest. I think, like, yeah, they, might, they might be, like, slightly tighter in reality. Like, just barely, but... I, I would cool. just take off 6-5 off, so it's, like, the only hand. <laughs> yeah. Could do this. 
Yeah. And then we had our exact result here. Yeah, you're a genius. Yeah, the best. Still down money in 2019, by the way. <laughs> oh, bro. It's the stream house energies, man. You need it back. Yeah. Um... Ah, oh, this is beautiful. Wait, what is this? Is this limp barrel barrel? Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> Wrong button. Yeah, he limps. 9 for suit, I check 9-8. He bets flop by call, he bets turret I call. He check, check river, 9 high wins. Oh. You just check it with such confidence that you're good. Yeah, but if you think about his limping range, when he yeah, covers yeah, no, me, like, he's just not going to have a lot of like king X, queen X, and we're going to win here so often. I didn't mean not so often, five. but... Often enough, I would say. I think pretty often, yeah. Unless he's making a terrible bet with 6x, then yeah. I raised the checks because it was so passive. <laughs> yeah, I like it. <laughs> I might even 3x it. Yeah. But like, he was so passive today. I, like, with 3x, <laughs> you you just... want to call, but you don't. It's so yeah, weird. like the 2.5x. Like, maybe so even limping is good because of that. Yeah. All right, we have two more hands that are going to be interesting. This is the first one. Um, seeing the other spot, this is probably a fold now. I like a, a rejam here. Am I jam, <laughs> but I like a jam. Yeah. Just after seeing what we should do against the UGG jamming range, I think this might be a fold. But um, yeah, we'll see. T Twitch had one for rejam, two for fold. I think they can already see the calling range, so 6.8%. No, I haven't run it yet. <laughs> this is just... Uh, oh, generic. okay. I just want to see the numbers in the chat so I can make fun of them later. I mean, for, all right. I mean, if it, if it is a fold, then like ace-queen offsuit is fine, for sure. Yeah, this should be... like I feel like ace is so, probably like the bottom. Yeah. Oh, my God. This is just so accurate. Still printing. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's so like... It's always the case as well. Like it's gonna be like eight plus eight jack suited. So many spots should like that. So it's like usually the bottom when it's very close. This is the first time Twitch chat is correct in its entirety. Nobody is wrong. Chat, we won. Yeah, you did it. You, everyone is right in Twitch chat. I can't even make. I can't expose anyone. Actually, I can expose. Wait, let me expose someone here. I saw somebody type a three in there. Crass King. When you know Fox put it to him now. <laughs> when they were, but I mean calling and folding are both fine, but he put a three in there. So wait, let's you... let's mix up, let's change his range. Like how much did he jam eleven? Like fuck it, take 16%. off aces, see what happens. I mean, he yeah, does okay. jam aces here for eleven bigs, I would say. I honestly, I think I people think fold king range... nine suited, fold king nine suited, yeah. Then jam. And yeah, keep an aces. You're probably right. <laughs> Yo, Gilly, thank option. you very much for the. Yeah. Although, something. dude, if he's a regular and he recognizes how tight big, like, big blind's playing like a, you know, he's obviously a wreck, so he'd probably come in with a min res. Maybe. I would give him That's if he's a regular. Freeze, to be honest. Ah, close. Some people fold it. I'll leave it out. Oh, this Gilly guy, he's, he's a nice guy. He streams as well. And he looks like Nico, so it's even better. <laughs> Have you seen his stream before? He looks exactly like Nico. It's ridiculous. I didn't know he was streaming. Nice. Yeah. He streams a uh, load of mistakes. I oh, think. wait, what? We can call now? I made his range tighter and now... We no, we, we could already call. Oh, yeah. I think, wasn't yeah, yeah. A-Shack point six then? Yeah, yeah. It's it's like... Plus 18, I think. Yeah, makes sense. No, so it's yeah, it's going to be that. very close. It's the result. Um, I would fold it in hindsight because I lost. Yeah. And because... Well, it's also, it's like that. not... <laughs> yeah. You probably want to pick like... It's fucking crazy mm. that like nines is that that close as well. Like you, eight, nines feels so much better here than ace check to me. But yeah, close spot. Oh, it's better. <laughs> it's, right. it's two times better. Apparently. Fuck you, path. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I look at the runout by the way. Wrecked. Okay, and then this this is a bust out hand where I jammed over the race and um. I have to review that. Oh, I love this spot. I face a very similar spot where I where I fold a verse and open with King Queen Suda. This is a crazy close spot. I love it. Yeah. Wait, what? He min raised up nine? No, he's a chip lead on 100 big blinds. That's the reason I jammed. Oh, shit. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Wow. You should you should um switch the stacks. You should 
copy paste the chip leader stack. Oh wait, no. Let's just run the spot for now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let's tighten his range a bit. Um, I don't know, like he was aggressive, so. It's already a pretty wide range. I will leave it at this for now, but I will definitely adjust it again after running it now. Oh my god, I'm terrible. No, wait, okay. Mm. He's definitely not going to call all of this stuff. Uh, you, you should have race call every pair. You think so? Was it 11 with my jam there? Yeah, dude. He's got, he's got fuck you money. He's still yeah, calling. true. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I mean, is, it, is it bad to, fold, um, to call deuces, though? Like, I would call still with 100 big blinds. I think it's going to be losing. I, mean, should, against... I think it's losing if he has, like, 50 big blinds. It's losing because he has less cushion room, room if he busts. Uh, this is going to be a fold with the king queen suited. I mean, here it's going to be the bottom, but I just don't think we're going to... I mean, 31% is already pretty wide. I don't think it's that crazy, to be honest, but no, it's pretty I like wide. It. Yeah, it's just way too marginal. And I mean, like we, we can adjust this, make it a little bit tighter, make him call a little bit more, and all of that hurts my EV. So you I should um, put yourself in the on the bottom versus yeah, cutoff. Button, yeah, something like that. Like, what's his range? His range is 31%, you said? Yeah, 31 I mean, if I button was cut off, like. easy jamming, but like yeah, hijack, yeah, yeah. hijack was button or something. All right. Um, wait, what? Oh, yeah. And now I'm on the button. I think you could open wider. Well, there's no one opening yet. Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah, he might be opening wider, but it's also close. Henry also has well, your money. Yeah, if he's Not got anymore. one less player to get through, so he will be opening a little bit wider. Wait, what? Forty-four percent? Or am I? Is that yeah. right? Wow, he goes from thirty-one to forty-four with one less player behind. I I adjusted the first range oh. okay. to make it a bit tighter. So what was the original Nash range for the first hand? Uh, I don't know. We can go back. <laughs> uh, wrong way. Okay. Dude, I never use that swap stack feature. I always copy paste the numbers <laughs> yeah, like no an way. <laughs> all the time, dude. Yeah, how have I never even noticed that? Uh, this is why I love reviewing stuff with other people. You just get to learn programs sometimes. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so they gave him a 40% opening range. So it okay. increases by 4%. Dude, that feature is TTO. So, mm. so nice. So yeah, I mean the forty-four percent here seems also reasonable. Again, could be tighter. Um, I mean, yeah. just like yeah, if it's a good player, then jam. If it's a bad player, then jam. Wait, but what? Even then it's still, you know, Look how when well, it's Nash, it shows seventeen percent, and when I press calculate, it goes down to eight point nine. Oh, because I think I it's an, if yeah, it's I, I, I found it. No, no, it's because I had the I had this enabled. This also changes it over here immediately. That's sick. I didn't see that before. What is that? Is oh, that's what EV you want to get it in with as a as a minimum or? Yeah, the EV difference. So just like. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, yeah, I never use that as well. That's pretty sick. Yeah, I mean here I would definitely jam. Like I'm on board with this one, but the first one I think I should fold. The idea is good, but it's just a bit too close and a bit too marginal there. So, result both of my final jams are okay, but they're like in in theory they're okay, but they're just a bit too wide in my opinion but very close they, don't, they didn't lose me a lot of money you know I think they lost me a little bit but not too much I like that that was it right mm. just for the completion rip gg <laughs> man that's it but it was an interesting yeah, final table. A lot of viewers tuning in. Yeah, 420. <laughs> cool. Just don't run to Ace King, lol. Yeah. You want to see a funny hand path? Mm hmm. Let's see. Um,
Ah, fuck, I was already perfect. No. There we go. I open King Queen 0 cutoff, big man 4x3 bets, a car. <laughs> the smile. <laughs> it, uh, there you go. Sometimes I miss that Twitch doesn't have the same features as YouTube where you can just jump to the next like 10 seconds forward or something. Uh, yeah. it's so much But smoother. also YouTube need to have the same um, like clipping thing as Twitch. If YouTube could do clips like Twitch too, that'd be sick. Yeah, I never watch um, streams on YouTube. It's so funny some will have clipped it. Yeah. Well, even on like just a random video, I think it's good to clip. True. So he bets the third in the flop I called. Do you guys miss not being in the same house anymore? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I tried to get Path to come to the, come out for the WCP or maybe Streamhouse Europe, but... Streamhouse Europe. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Too good. Um, Mate, if you get a place and then you got the other two boys already there, then I'll come over. <laughs> but oh shit! Any other oh way. shit! If they're already there, like they have to be like in the room waiting, and then I'll come. As usual, cap a pride. No. How is this hand exciting? Like, what do you just bet fold or something stupid happens? <laughs> I, I know. I, just I can't believe you just showed me right. that, dude. <laughs> I just paid it. <laughs> I just wanted to point out again that I'm running bad. I was wow. hoping to see like threes there instead. <laughs> Streamhouse Tupac Jam would be so nice, man. But it's just. No, no, for it to work, you guys have to come to New Zealand. It's just a lot simpler. Me and Travis are Fuck here. off, come on. I'm serious. It's already worked out before. Like, there's no issues for me. Like... Yeah. <laughs> I can hook uh... you up, man. I, I, got, I know some people here. You legit know it. <laughs> <laughs> Your Uber delivery guy. Uh, leave him alone, all right? He deserves the tips I give him. Also, the neighbor you once saw by pouring your fucking morning coffee. That's oh hard. my god, dude. She even engaged in conversation. She was like, good morning. Wait, that was, was a like, woman? Oh my god. Yeah, it looked weird from the angle, but yeah, it was like some lady, like late 40s or something. She was like, good morning. I was like, oh god. Morning. <laughs> Fucking awkward. Just here for my coffee like every morning. I see my is not only useful to find a table, it's just gener generally push fold. Yeah. Man, that's it. I don't know how to wrap this up. Dude, exclamation upswing in the chat right now, guys. Help Henry <laughs> out. He needs to get those sales. He's down swinging this year. Rip. That's fine. It doesn't matter if you didn't read them. Um, just yet, books. Yeah, books are definitely plus EV. It's just like something. It's similar to Henry's regen with Ajax suited. It's good, but it's not great. But fuller masterclass. Good old times. Okay, I will wrap this up because I need to brush my teeth and Path needs to sleep, so he is finally up before the only ACR tournaments are running. Mm. Um, so yeah, thanks for hanging out, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this section. Um, for the people that watch this on YouTube, I'm going to put Paths stuff in the description so you can check them out as well. Killer Easy. bros. <laughs> Stop that, man. That's the one. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Killer bros. Sure, it's so terrible. Bros. <laughs> so bad. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Much love. I hope you enjoyed this. Peace out. Bye, guys.